How's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the smart IPTV player to your Fire Stick or Android TV. The whole process is pretty easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. And the first step you gotta take is get the app called Downloader. So if you don't already have it, you can get the Downloader from your official Amazon App Store. To do so, go to search on the Fire Stick and start typing Downloader in the search. And as you can see, Downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. Click on it, and that's the app that we need to get to your Fire TV Stick. However, after you get Downloader, it is not over yet, because we still gotta set it up. So in order to actually set up Downloader on your Fire Stick, let's go to Settings, and then scroll down and go to My Fire TV. Open it, and in here, we'll need to turn on Developer Options on your Fire Stick. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire TV Stick devices, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, then no need to worry, because it's pretty easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to start clicking on the middle button on your remote, and do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom, it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it is going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which now have popped out for us right here. Open them, make sure to turn on ADB debugging, then go to install known apps. And from here, what you have to do is locate downloader and turn that option on. So what it does, it is going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now if you go to the list of apps on your Fire Stick, you open it and there is the downloader, which is set up and ready to use on your Fire Stick. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing and is of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN, because they're super fast and they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use, and they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say, we will connect to Brazil right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means that no one can track you or snoop on you online, and that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser, and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use Downloader safely. So we go straight back to the list of apps on your device, open Downloader, and wait a bit. And now in here, in the Downloader app, we need to open the search bar and start entering the code, which will be 26604. So once again, it's 26604, that's the code you have to enter and click on go. And while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel, so you will get even more content about Fire Sticks. And now the download of the app has started, so we wait a bit. After that, you click on install and just wait until the app is finally installed to your Fire TV Stick device. And after it is installed, don't click on open yet, instead press on done, because this way, you'll be able to delete the installation files, as you don't really need them anymore on your Fire Stick device. So click on delete and then delete once again. This way you save yourself some free space on your Fire Stick. And that's really important, because by default your Fire Stick doesn't really have too much free space available anyway. 
And now if you go to the list of apps on your Fire TV stick, you will open it. And there's the smart IPTV player, which we just installed. So now I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on the move to front. This way, Smart IPTV is always going to be at the very top of your application list, and therefore, it's going to be pretty easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep your VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. So enjoy, and see you next time. Bye-bye.